us and we're like freaking out. And yeah, this is our first time. And no. ah! I like the one with the fetuses coming out of the pregnant bellies, you know. This kind of When they wake up, oh, we have a little fun. So let me hold it tight and share them together. The crowd, we've got so many more people, and it's a lot more organized. You don't have the unruly crowd we had last year. How's it feel to be back in the day? Oh my God! Praise Jesus! Praise Jesus! I'll be back in another Praise Jesus! Praise Jesus! Praise Jesus. Praise Jesus. Praise Jesus. been a lot more people that's came every year. Each, each year, it just gets bigger and bigger crowds. Oh yeah. Yeah, we'll be back. raising money for the March of Dimes. And have fun and get a little dirty. A little dirty. <laughs> it's the Hooters Halftime Show. It's all about fun in the mud. Let's make a pyramid in the mud, drag them down, don't let them go. You know, you have premature babies who have their whole life ahead of them. And that's what we're here for. They need a chance. Lord, and we bless this community in Jesus' name. And everyone said amen. 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 What? How many we have over a thousand backpacks, and as you see, we probably right now have between 800 and 1,000 people. And some people have uh, come through the line asking for eight and 10 backpacks. She's got to take the tickets. Yes, it's super hot out here. Uh, the heat is uh, pretty <laughs> dramatic, but you know, it's a statement about how the need is and Absolutely. how serious the need is. When it came time for them to go back to school, I'm already out of money because I done paid all the other bills, so. I think it's absolutely a representation of the economy. People are hurting. People don't have money for basic essentials for kids to start school. And I think this is absolutely representative of the economy right now. That's a heavy load there. You got somebody to share that with you? No, my kids are heavy load. I got this. A lot of families don't have jobs. Some are without, you know, uh, expenses, meaning resources to buy the back to, school, back to school supplies. And so I would say that the recession, the economy, uh, and the way things are going, families need more assistance this year. Um, you know, it's obvious the parents understand the importance of education. And even though it's nearly 100 degrees here on the asphalt, maybe 110, uh, they know the importance of education, that their children get off to a good start. So, uh, no, it was a standing room only crowd this morning. It was, it was packed, but everybody was uh, orderly and, uh, and appreciative of the, of the sponsors that have put this together. Thank you. Thank you for giving me a backpack. Thank you for giving me candy. Thank you for being nice to me and stuff. My personal drive to get tattoos is I th it's a great art form. Um, there was a stigma with tattoos years ago where it was gangbangers in prison, and it's, it's just not like that anymore. No certain image, you know, or imagery has to have any one meaning to it because, you know, certain things mean something different to everyone. You know, versus you have flash shops and street shops, we're kind of basing our business off of the custom people, who, you know, people that don't want to be collectors and come in and get some big, you know, you know, nice pieces of art done um, on them. Well, what it is, it's uh, the Forley, which represents uh, Kentucky, Louisville, where my whole family is from. Um, and then the wings is kind of embracing the family, and then all the flowers are my family flowers. I mean, my grandma asked me, she's like, I know it's art, but why can't you, hang, can't you just hang it on the wall? But now that she knows that she's a part of it, she appreciates it a little bit more. Um, I'm just proud of the whole team as a whole. They just had a phenomenal year. I'm proud of Team Kentucky Special Olympics. And it was a great experience for 
athletes as well as parents. We, we may have had more fun than the athletes. And these athletes work so hard for everything they do. They never say, I can't. They always say, I will. Yeah, I really want it so bad, and I'm so, I'm so proud of anything. So freaking happy I could cry. Friendship means a lot more than anything else, and I would not have it any other way. And, and these athletes work so hard for everything they do. Well, we're all very proud of you, and we hope that you know that. <laughs> And he looked out and he's like, oh, no, it's probably training or something like that. And I'm like, no, they've got guns. Connie and Mike Bush couldn't believe their eyes when they woke up to find dozens of police, SWAT team members, and the bomb squad at the house across the street from them on Saturday morning. So I came to the front window and looked out and saw a police car across the street from us with a couple of policemen squatted down behind it with rifles pointed at the house. And Police say a man, his elderly mother, and the mother's new husband were all inside the house. They knew one man was shot and another had barricaded himself inside. And our first concern, obviously, was to get the lady that we knew that was in the house because uh, we suspect the suspect was still in the house. So we wanted to get her out right away, and then we wanted to make sure that the, if there was appropriate to attend to the individual who we suspected was shot. It was an hour later when the SWAT team finally gassed the house, forcing the man to give up. Oh, the Bushes shot this home video as their neighbor was led out of the house in her nightgown. Soon after, they watched police lead her son out of the home in handcuffs. Just the way he talked, you could tell, you know, he's, um, I don't know, just not all there. Neighbors say that man lived at home with his mother and stepfather, who were married just weeks ago. Kelsey Starks, WHAS 11 News.